All right, to implement our service so that we have control over the lifecycle, right, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is inherit from the service class. Right? So in this case, we'll inherit directly from the service class as opposed to using an intermediate class like we did in the on-demand service. As we mentioned, first thing we have to uh, take care of is overriding the onCreate method. Right? And that onCreate method is where we do any one-time initialization for our class. Right? Anything that's going to happen at startups, we're going to create any resources or anything else we need there. Right, our on start command, again, that's where we do all of our work, right? So any, whatever, you know, request handling means for your service, that's where we're going to do it. Now, you're normally going to dispatch that to some kind of background thread, right? We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. And then we also, when we receive that work, we're going to give return a flag, and that flag's going to indicate to the operating system exactly how we want certain things to be handled for us uh, if we get shut down. Then, of course, we have our on destroy. Again, that's where we do any final cleanup, right? So that's where we're going kind to of get rid of everything that we're using because once we return from on destroy, we're dead, right? So we shouldn't be holding on to anything beyond that point. Now, there's another method on bind. Uh, when we're dealing with started services, you are required to override that method, but you always just return null. Uh, the on bind method is actually intended for bound services, which kind of have a whole different lifetime expectation for those. Now remember that we're still implementing a service, right? So all the things we have to do for a service, including adding our Android manifest entries, are still important, right? So we still have to do those things.